and his adopted daughter, Catibri, a deadly archer destined to be a leader. They will resist. The newly crowned king of the Reghead Barbarians, Wolfgar, son of Beornagar. If he can master his rage, he will be dangerous. Drizzed to Worden, the drow outcast. Few can match his deadly speed. He could be the key to everything. They care for each other. Something to be exploited, perhaps. But their bond is strong. Regardless, they fail to secure the shard from that fool, Kessel. It's out there. Exposed. For the taking. And now, it will be mine.
What do you need? Later then. inside my wagon. I think. I think that's it. I think Regis is going to be back soon. He has the best stories. Take a look through here. Always a pleasure. Man, those are some sad attributes. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's early, and I'm already pretty well into 420 here, so... I could really use some more junk over here. Anybody uh, out there see <laughs> something I'm not seeing here in the very first area? Let me know. Another dead end. Teleportation circles waiting, and I've got coin to spend. Take it for a spin and bring me back something shiny. Oh, is this it here? I gotta, like, use the map to go somewhere. There we go. Oh, 
Alright. Supposed to do now. I got a wagon of goods over here. Great season. More work to now. We will test the lessons learned at the melee make there, and I will judge your worth. <laughs> Remember what you are doing. <laughs> Are you not a warrior? You are indeed a fearless warrior. Yet still, I send spear with the ear, cowboys. You are indeed a fearless warrior. Yet still. What's happening here? Hmm. That is very strange. Yeah, I know those channel points are weird. I don't know why they are so finicky like that, though. I send spear within you. I'm sneaky! Wrong What do I gotta do then, man? Why are you being so More hard on me? To fell. You claim to be this country's protector, Drisk Gordon. Show me that you're worthy of the title. You move with grace, Drow. And you'll need that and more for the challenges that face the day. <laughs> With grace, Drow. And you'll need that and more for the challenges that face the Dale. Stands against me. Now we will test the lessons learned at the melee make there, and I will judge your worth. Ah! <laughs> 
Still, I sense fear with it. For the people of Ten Towns. With Grace Drown. And you'll need that and more after the challenge of that. Enemies of the Dale! I drown! You need with Grace Drown. And you'll need that and more. For the challenges that face the Dale. The United... The United Peoples of Icewind Dale had defeated Kessel's armies and destroyed his crystal tower. But the dwarven warriors of Clan Battlehammer returned home to find their halls overrun, their people fleeing the valley. We rush to their aid, fighting our way through the goblins in Verbeeg to find the goblin commander and put an end to this siege.
What you mean, bro? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Bruner's aid in the war against Kessel left his people exposed to this invasion. I'll not rest until I see the dwarves back safe in their homes. Well, that's awfully nice of interest. You force my hand.
short rest. What does this game think I am? Dawn. Ooh. Loot rarity bonus. Oh, you got a... Interesting. Alright. <laughs> Quick decision. Add some bonuses to my attributes because uh, this guy sucks for using actual D and D attributes. Goblins in Verbeeg lay siege to the Battlehammer Halls. I'll break this siege and then see what damage has been done within. the hell. That's ridiculous. Pretty sure all of Vegas we only have... Well, I know I think we finally have two choices, but... but 20 plus years we only had one.
dwarven magics keeping it shut. I knew those pooyaks were full of shit. <laughs> well, they are shit. Look out! Very cool. For the people of Ten Towns. Oh. <laughs> no what? What did I, uh... I'm pretty high. I might have asked something and forgotten already. My apologies. Let a dumbass like Kessel find the shard anyhow. They say it found him. Who's they? Those wizards. They know all about the shard. 
can't know that much or they'd have found it themselves. Wake up, you boys! Take some effort.
place, your foes would be a tougher nut to crack. Yeah. Never had me a taste of dragon before. <laughs> Tougher nut to grab. More foes to fell. Come now, elf. I'll make it painless. <laughs> your end. Getting on then, you yeah. seems like the dwarves are gone. All that's left is to break into their halls and loot the place clean. Ah, shit, baby. What? That's good news. Oh, I was hoping to catch a dwarf myself or to have a scrap and a snack. Can't believe Ice Wind froze my berry. But at least I'll get it to stop. Ah, oh, very cool. Not my usual uh, bag that I play, but it's got the D&D &D name on it, so they do uh, get me with that. <laughs> Interesting. <sighs> 
man, this map is a lot bigger than I expected. Oh. Oh, there you go. Good old full reset. <clears throat> Ooh. An attribute point. Oh, asshole. I wasn't ready for you. I was celebrating my success. More foes to fell.
Falling siege engines continue to be a threat. They must be destroyed. Good stuff, brother. Hope you got some good rest anyway. For real. You know what's up, though. Most of you do, anyway. It's a pretty monumental occurrence in the, uh, the community the other day, so... Many have inquired. Definitely haven't gone into all the details out of uh, respect for privacy and things like that, but uh, the general gist of it, you know what's uh, what's going on and uh, what's uh, what's going on right right here, <clears throat> you know. Much love, friends. Much love. Tell you though, I am very, very much looking forward to this uh, this trip out of town in a few days. I've not been out of town in a good while, and I have not been on a plane in 21 years. So while there is anxiety there, there's a uh, Mixed with excitement. Oh yeah. Nice way to cap off the uh, the six weeks off, five and a half weeks, whatever it is. I think we leave uh, Thursday and then come back Sunday, and then Tuesday is J Man's game. We are back against the serpents. I haven't gotten a response yet. I think I asked him the other day. I wanted to uh, link my, my Dwarven character, Vedger, to my old Dwarven character in his campaign when we played the uh, Return to the Tomb of Horrors. And we're playing 3rd edition D&D and epic level campaign. And I definitely min-maxed the fuck out of that dwarf. He was a half Iron Golem. Uh had that template, plus he had like the best uh, strength boosting magic items and if you remember the expansion books for 3rd edition they had um, the varying levels of toughness so if you took toughness as a feat you get an extra 2 hit points per level but then they had dwarven toughness for 4 hit points a level giant toughness for 8 I think I had Dragon's Toughness, and you had to take each of them in sequence. But I finally got Dragon's Toughness, which I think was like 16 extra hit points per level. So when all was said and done, my Dwarf had a 50 strength, and was rocking, if I recall, like 380, 400 hit points. So, uh, it was definitely a beast character. And considering how often Vedger gets his ass kicked, I'm like, you know, I think he needs a little bit of that, uh, that Jordan oomph. I think it might be today, maybe tomorrow, but I'm thinking about a coalescence 
uh, stream recap. Kind of like what we did with the three year stream anniversary. Uh, just some chit chat, but this more focused on uh, setting us up for where we are now. And there's going to be insane amount of detail that slips through the cracks. So, uh, viewer turnout would definitely alleviate that in some respect, as uh, more eyes and more minds are certainly better than uh, two eyes and one mind that is uh, perpetually uh, 420. Speaking of which, we are loading up. But yeah, something I've been uh, considering here. I, I also, I definitely need to update the uh, the Coalescent Story channel because uh, the last time I updated it, I think was uh, during the last break during the holidays. And, uh, yeah, we have definitely progressed a fair amount with some of our tables. Some of our tables, there wouldn't be much to write about, like uh, Sunday G1. I think they ended last year before the, the Christmas and holiday break. Uh, they were in the Red Hold, and they only just finished the Red Hold before we took this break. So I don't know how much recap there would be aside from... They continued their explorations, found more treasures, uh, new characters came to join, and they had their first encounter with a dragon, finally faced off against Nihilus, and now we have Mizium. Oh yeah, and the Demon Dragon. Demon Dragon helped out a lot. I am getting a kick out of... Uh, how blatantly and obviously evil John Zur has uh, revealed himself to be, and Johnny Sly is still just like, yeah, that's my buddy. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I keep uh, going back to Arnold in uh, Total Recall when he's looking at his hands, he's just like, you call this a delusion? Yeah, I I, I kind of do, man. I think you uh, you're under some uh, misapprehensions about uh, what John Zor really is. We have had a number of high-profile people uh, try to dissuade you from uh, your views on the subject, but uh, as in real life, we have learned such can be quite difficult. So yeah, maybe get to the end of this little segment right here. I think the furthest I ever got in this game when I had it for the three years I've had it was just playing the little uh, intro training section. So definitely a lot of fun to this game. Um, I think it's one of the one of the select few, like one to 5% of the game collection that I have that I would prefer to play multiplayer. Because, I mean, you guys know me, 95 plus percent of my gaming is all single player, Final Fantasy, uh, things in that nature, Death Stranding, of course, 49 sessions, finally beat that game last night. Beat that game, I mean, could have played it a while longer, I'm sure there were a multitude of other deliveries and new lore that I could have gotten as part of uh, going back to Central America after I had already completed the main game. But once I kind of got a feel for what they were giving me at that point, I was like, all right, it's just a few more unique deliveries, but still going into the same areas, fighting the same thing, doing the same paths that I've already done uh, a dozen times plus at least. So, definitely a fun game. Um, I recommend, but I also uh, recommend, unlike myself, don't get bogged down too much in completing every delivery that comes your way. Make use of those fucking delivery bots. Don't have to have a perfect 
delivery score on every delivery, I got a little OCD with that, and kind of lost my luster for the game somewhere along that point, and just kind of had to trudge along to complete it. Once I started getting back into the story, it became more interesting, but that central part of the map, uh, I easily spent uh, like 70 hours there. I think just rebuilding all those roads, going back and forth, there's three very distinct sections of that Central America map that are take at least five to ten minutes just to traverse. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, you can use the fragile jump and what have you, but I was, again, a little OCD uh, also in the respect with my all the gear that I had acquired. And if you do the fragile jump, you leave all your gear at the locker where you last were. So, I mean, you could theoretically prepare everything and leave yourself a little bit of something everywhere, but I don't know. That that was a bit more in-depth than I wanted to get with it. All right. <clears throat> Let's roll. And I'm already, like, fighting that struggle here with this game because I'm like, this is a, a nice hack-and-slash D&D game. I can have some fun with it. But the OCD part of me is looking at that objective thing there in the upper right. Like, I need to go find the five dwarven ancestral steins. I don't need to. <laughs> I gotta fight against that behavior sometimes because there are so many games in my library. But with the, uh... But I should. <laughs> But with the the current mode of uh, gaming, and you don't really own your games, and new games costing $130 if you want full access for single-player things, like, I think uh, the age may finally be upon me where I'm able to start catching up on some of this backlog of games that I've had. Because, yeah... I don't see buying too many in the future, especially more games going digital only. I'm not a fan of that. Fucking loved Alan Wake, but I refuse to buy Alan Wake 2 if it's only available on digital. Especially at the uh, the cost they want for it. If I stumble upon it and it's like 20 bucks on a sale or something, then maybe I'll still kind of grudgingly be like, it sucks that there's not a physical copy, but... For 20, I can justify having the playable experience, but not necessarily retaining the uh, the game. I don't know if you guys saw what I was doing here earlier, too, but I cheesed the fuck out of this. Uh, I got myself two trophies, because this is just a stationary object that does not break, and I got trophies for 50 and 200 hits. I don't know how how just how high the uh, the hit o meter can go, but I got it to 746. Yay! Thank you, darling. Appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I was hoping to get up to a thousand, but I guess that's part of the uh, the challenge, even if it's a stationary object, is the stamina meter. Every so often I would, like, kind of pause and let the stamina refill, but eventually the game uh, lets you have less time to rest between strikes. So yeah, once I got over 700, it was... Uh, very, very uh, short window of opportunity. That's right, this frickin' thing. That's right, get your ass back up here. Now what do I do? Just to go up. Can you take me higher? Oh, oh boy. Um, I just, I'm already fucking over here. 
I'm just gonna run in the circles. Well worth the uh, turnaround. Nine legendary crystals. Just got Ooh. rid of the dwarves and now Dorgar moving in. Too soon. Ooh, Dorgar. More work to be done. Kill the shaka. You guys just stood there and let me do that too. You guys suck. Hey. Don't hurt me. No! Oh, son of a bitch. Hold on, I want to collect this gear. No! That's right, you go jump in the fire like I did. Alrighty. Enjoy your day. Thanks for hanging out. I'd say leave it on lurk for the uh, the best cars, but if it's being uh, weird with you, then probably not. Hey, I found another one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Continues. I defend these lands. I gotta say, though, this is never what I uh, imagine Drist's voice to sound like. He sounds very human, which, I mean, we're all voice actors and we're all human, so sure, but voice actors have been known to uh, kind of twist their voice to make it sound like something else. <laughs> I don't know.
Another chance to make the Dale safe. Your meat-eating days are over! Bruner's aid in the war against Kessel left his people exposed to this invasion. I'll not rest until I see the dwarves back safe in their homes. Oh wow, I start all the way back at the beginning. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. 
so what about I mean do I even shiny teeth? What do you think they call them pearly whites? Everyone's got teeth. Yeah, I guess I'll just pause it here and pick it back up here later, but uh yeah, I'm gonna close out this stream and perhaps we will uh have a coalescence recap here pretty shortly, friends. Are you with us?